Hey everyone, welcome back to another bonus round. I'm Nick, and today we're going to be playing some more Hearthstone. Let's head into the arena here so we can make our deck, and we will also be picking our cards, and we'll play our first match today. So we'll be drafting our deck and playing our first match. Let's see. Okay. Um, out of these, honestly, I don't like the Shaman very much. I don't use him at all, ever, so... I'm not familiar with him in any way. The rogue is okay. Uh, I really like the druid, though. So we're going to choose the druid here. Okay. Let's see. Um, here, I think we're going to go Imp Master. It's really the best choice. Spawning lots of imps for us. It's going to be good. Uh, sorry, I'm doing um and uh a lot again. Um... <laughs> Twilight Drake here. And here, I really like... Ooh, I like Venture Comerc a lot. Wrath is really nice. Naturalize is good, but you don't usually want your opponent to be drawing cards. It's uh, sort of if you need it in a, a tight spot. It's good in a tight spot. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think we're going to go Venture Comerc here. Healing touch here. Here, this isn't very good ever. You usually it won't live long enough for you to be able to buff it or anything. Um, it'll die pretty quick. Wind fury is always good, but so here I think we're probably gonna go with the the iron fur grizzly. Ooh, this is tough. Okay, so Shattered Sun Cleric is amazing. Spellbreaker is good too. Silence is always nice. I think here we're going to go Sun Cleric though. Since I've, Novice Engineer got nerfed from a 1 2, it's now a 1 1. It's not as good. I usually like to run Loot Hoarder more so now. Uh, but our deck's not very aggressive, so Leper Gnome's not great. This guy is not very good at all, so I think we're going to go Novice Engineer. Cult Master. Mark of the Wild here. Knife Juggler here. He's great. Uh, the, the Crazed Alchemist isn't bad either, though. But we'll go Knife Juggler. Innervate. Power of the Wild. Okay. So it's between these two. Uh, I think we will go... Uh, we've got more... We don't really have a lot of low, low drops. We've got threes, and... I think we'll go Innervate here. Ooh. We have a Sun Cleric already, so I think we're going to grab Chill and Yeti, one of the best cards in Constructed or Arena, really. We'll grab another Iron Fur here. Keeper of the Grove, fantastic. He's good in a lot of situations, so we're definitely going to be using him today. Okay, so we don't have a weapon yet. Um, wow. Okay, sorry. Uh, Archmage is good. Sometimes, not really, though. I mean, 4-7 for 6 isn't great. The spell damage is okay. I think we'll go Earth and Ring here for a heal and a 3-3. Three, three. Um, we'll go Ancient Brewmaster here. Yeah. those None of those were really good. Jungle Panther. He usually trades up. He's pretty good. We'll grab Power of the Wild here. Ogre Magi here. Another Keeper of the Grove. Great card. Another Chill and Yeti. Fantastic. So, I think we're going to go River Croc here. The Torn Warrior is not very good. Neither is the Raging Worgen. Wind Fury and plus one attack when he's damaged is good, but they'll usually try and kill him right out, so he'll never really have that. Unless you're running a deck to combo with it. So, And this is Arena, we can't really do that. River Croc there. Swipe is great. Need some removal. 
here, I think we're actually going to go Starfire. Um, this thing sucks. This thing is really large. I don't know. I don't like it personally. We do have a Starfire already, though. And it's 6 for 5 damage. I think we will go Iron Bark here. Another Chill Wind. Fantastic. Can never have too many of those. Here we'll go Earth and Ring. Spellbreaker is great. Oh, it should not. Okay, I did say we you could never have too many of those, but four might be too many. I think we'll grab another Power of the Wild. And Sunwalker, I guess. Okay, so we have our deck. And we'll be playing the first match today in this video as well. Let's find an opponent. So I really like the arena. It's a lot of fun. Um, you get, as you saw, you choose a hero at the beginning, randomly select one of three, and then one of three cards 30 times until you have your 30 card deck. Play against other people, and the arena run is over when you either have three losses, which is what usually happens. Not a lot of people get to 12 wins, which is the other end. It's over if you win 12 wins. And you get a prize based on how well you did. So you get a pack of cards every time. And then you can also get gold and uh, arcane dust, which is used for crafting cards on top of that. So it's a really nice, fun thing to do if uh, you're bored of Constructed or whatever. Uh, I like this hand a lot. We have Innervate, so we can play our Chill and Yeti really quickly. River Croc is a two drop, so we can play him on turn one with the coin. So I think we're definitely just going to keep his hand because swipe is removal. Removal is always good. It's pretty decent cost removal as well. Okay, so he did nothing on his first turn. We will coin and play the River Croc. End our turn. Again, this the environments are always fun. Let's see what he does here. Sometimes I've had this happen to myself as well. Uh, you get really screwed over in arena, and you just get crap cards given to you in the drafting portion, and you can't really do anything with it. I think we got a pretty decent deck going here. Uh, nothing super great, but innervate there, gain plus two mana crystals to play the Chill Wind Yeti. I like having this as the zebra one. Okay, Thought Steel is okay. It depends what he gets from it. You can get something really bad, or you can get something really good. Like, I've had somebody copy my Ragnaros and Naturalize out of my deck, and when I played mine, he killed my Ragnaros and played his. It sucked. But Okay, we're going to... Use our hero power here to punch him, and we'll punch him with the uh, Yeti as well. So he hasn't played anything yet, so, okay, Jungle Panther. I wonder if that's what he got out of my deck, or if he had one as well. If, it, if he just got the Jungle Panther, that's not too bad, actually, so, here... Let's see. Here, I think I'm going to Power of the Wild to play a Panther. 3-2 Panther. And then also use our Hero Power. And we'll punch here. And punch his life with the Yeti. Board control is very important. Not only in Arena, but in Hearthstone in general. You want to have control of the board. Uh, if you don't have an advantage on the board, you definitely want advantage in your hand. Right now, it looks like he's got that. Okay, so he did Power of the Wild as well. That was a good play on his part. Get rid of the Yeti. 
shadow form. Dangerous. Especially because he doesn't have any board presence. He won't be able to heal anymore. Only dealing damage. So we'll play we'll play Cult Master. And we'll just punch with the Panther here. And I like Cult Master because it makes it gives your uh, minions extra value if they're especially if they're trading with other minions. Because every time a minion dies he gets to draw a card. So of course he'll take that out. But we're still in okay shape here. That thing's annoying. It's not too bad though because I can just silence it with this, which is what I'm going to do. Now it's not nearly as threatening. I'm going to hero power here. Just punch his life and punch his life. So this thing, what it does is at the beginning of each of his turns, it randomly deals two damage to an enemy. So either me or one of my minions. Every turn. And if you can keep it protected, uh, it becomes very good. I silenced it so it loses that ability. It's not as good anymore. Played Holy Nova. Okay. So now he has board control. I want to get that back, so let's see what we can do here. I think we'll play the Imp Master and the Iron for Grizzly, just so he can't attack the Imp Master, and I can get the maximum amount of Imps out of it. Every turn, Imp Master will, at the end of my turn, Imp Master will take one damage and spawn a 1-1 one, one Imp. So it's a great card to have. Do, do, do. He's thinking. Okay, silence the taunt because he wants to smack the imp master prop. Oh, he wants to go for the imp. Okay, that's not totally bad because he's taking out a minion while his is still alive, so it's going to cost me more resources to take his out. Trading up is always good in this as well. Let's see. I believe we will go like this. We will swipe him. Take those out as well. Play the Ogre Magi. And punch with the Grizzly. So we got two imps out of it. Not great. But we also uh, took out the... Uh, Minion that was here. Can't remember his name. The Demolisher. There we go. Harvest Golem. Great. Didn't get any of those in our deck, but it's a fantastic minion. It's a 2 3 for 3, and when it dies, it summons a 2 1 in its place. So he's either looking to take that out. Yeah, okay. So he damaged that so he could take it out next turn. And that's not bad, but if I had healing, which I do, I'm not going to waste this on the Magi, though. He would be in a bit of trouble. So we'll play the Knife Juggler. It's always good to have that. Play this to silence his Golem, so when it dies, it doesn't summon the 2-1. And then we will punch it with the Grizzly. Punch with the Magi, punch with our hero, and punch with the Imp. So it looks pretty good for us right now. I think we're going to win our first match here. And that's always nice. Sucks coming into Arena and losing the first one. So he'll take out the Magi. Okay, so he's going to heal and also take this out. That's pretty good for him. So it looks like he might survive another turn. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we just get him with Mark of the Wild. So we'll throw this down. Give him plus two, plus two, and taunt. Punch. Pu punch. Punch. And give him the old well played. So. 
I think that's where we're going to end today's video. It's nice to get a w our first match as a win. Check back later for more. Uh, please like and subscribe. Help every little bit helps, and uh, we'll see you at guys later.